What's up y'all, welcome to the video. Today I'll be showing you how to implement some basic charge attacks or heavy attacks in Unreal Engine 5 using blueprints in C++. And by the end of the video, we'll be able to make our third person character play a heavy attack by holding down the attack button. For this tutorial, we'll be starting off where we left off in the last video where I covered how to make a simple combo attack system. And you shouldn't exactly need that starter code to be able to implement the heavy attacks, but if it makes it easier for you to follow along, then feel free to check out that video. It gives us a decent starting point, so we'll just be building off of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the project structure real quick, just so there isn't any confusion on where I'm getting things. So first we have our content folder and we are keeping everything in the hack slash folder. And we have our assets and our blueprints. The assets right here, we just have our knight asset, which is a character that I got from Mixamo. Um, we have the source, the textures, and we have the animations also gotten from Mixamo. And I made a animation blueprint for that. And with that, we also have our blueprint. Um, we have our blueprint hack slash character. And this just holds some references to our different montages and also has the animation blueprints connected to this. And this blueprint right here actually derives from our C++ class for our third person character, which is just named hack slash character. And we also have a blueprint version of our hack slash game mode, and we're using that as a edited version to use our hack slash character blueprint. And so with that, we are going to go into our C++ classes, and we are going to get right into implementing our heavy attacks. Once we've opened Visual Studio, we're going to go into our code and open up hack slash character.h, which is our header file. And we're going to add a reference to our heavy attack montage, which is what we're going to need to be able to play our attack animation. So we're just going to copy this real quick and just rename it to heavy. And in order for us to be able to see this in our hack slash character blueprint, we are going to need this U property header right here where we're able to edit any anywhere. And we have access to read and write in blueprints and category animation is just for organization purposes. And once you have that reference, we're going to go down into our methods right here. And we're going to add a method for our charged attack. And along with that method, we're going to need some booleans to help track the charge of the attack. So we're going to have our boolean for when it's charging and false by default, of course. And we're also going to have a boolean for when it's already charged. And these are going to be false by default because we, of course, don't want anything charging or automatically charged without us doing anything. So we'll just leave it like that for now. Okay, and now once you have that, we're going to go into our hack slash character .cpp, and we're going to implement our charge attack right here. Now looking at our hack slash character cpp file, we're going to scroll down and go into our player input component method that's setting all of our inputs right here. And we're going to make a slight change to our attack bindings, and we're going to switch this IE pressed from our light attack to our charge attack. And we're going to make another binding for when the button is released. We're going to switch that to our light attack. And this is going to make sense once I go and implement the charge attack method, but we'll get into that once I start to implement that and I'll break down why I'm doing everything. So with that, we're gonna go down into our charge attack method and we're going to implement this. Now for this method, I'm just going to go and type everything out first, and then I will break down what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So,
Okay, now breaking down these methods. Firstly, for our charge attack, we make sure that our character is on the ground, and we can do that by calling the can jump method. If that method returns true, then we are on the ground because we aren't able to jump while in midair. Next, we'll begin charging by setting our charging boolean to true, and then we'll set a timer to check if we are still charging. This timer basically works like a delay node that you'd see in blueprints where we are first bringing in a timer handle, which is basically a unique identifier for the timer manager to look at. We then insert the code to execute once the timer is up, and finally we give it the time which in this case is one second, and whether or not we're in a loop. Once the timer is up, if we are still charging, we'll play the heavy attack montage, set our charging boolean to false, but then set our charged boolean to true because now that we have charged our heavy attack, we're going to need that boolean set to true. Now looking at the edits we made to our light attack method, if we have released the left mouse button, it is considered a quick attack, so we set the charging boolean to false. Then in our light attack logic, we'll play the attack only if we aren't currently charged, but if we are, then we'll set that boolean to false because we are now using quick attacks. The reason we're using this charged boolean in our logic is to prevent the light attack from playing immediately after we release a heavy attack. Without this logic in place, as soon as we play a heavy attack and release it, it would play a light attack that we didn't call for. So this is just to prevent extra attacks that we didn't necessarily um, intend to, to play. So now tying these two methods together, if we press the attack button and hold it, by the time this timer reaches zero, if we haven't released the button, we'll play our charged attack, but if we release the button before the timer is up, we'll reset the charge via this boolean and instead play a light attack. And now that we've written up our code and broken everything down, let's go back into Unreal and test this. Okay, now back in Unreal, we're gonna go into our animations for our knight character, and we're gonna go find our heavy slash. And what we'll do here is we're gonna go and make sure that root motion is enabled so that our camera can actually follow this when we're doing the attack. And we're going to create an animation montage from this. So if we go to create and a montage, let's drag this into our montages. And if we go back into our character blueprint, we'll see now that we have our reference to our heavy attack montage, it is empty. So we're just going to fill that with our heavy slash montage compile and save that and now we can test this so we still have our combo attacks working but if we then go and hold down our button we can now play our heavy attack and then from there we can also then go right back into our normal combo attacks or our light attacks and then just do our charge attack if we hold down for a second. So there you have it. We now have our basic charge slash heavy attack functional, and we can now take our input and set timers to check if we are holding a button down for a certain amount of time, and then execute different actions once that time is up. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all of my tutorials and content. Until then, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next video.